In this video, we'll look at whether ammonium carbonate, NH42CO3, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that it's an ionic compound, but that's a little bit confusing because if you look at the nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen, they're all nonmetals, which we would expect to be a covalent bond. But in this case, we're dealing with ions, the ammonium ion and the carbonate ion. So let's talk about those ions for a moment. The ammonium ion, NH4, that has a one plus charge. So we're at a plus up here, and that's on the whole NH4 ion. We have two ammonium ions. So ammonium ions, they stay together in general because they're very tightly bonded. The bonds between the nitrogen and the hydrogens are pretty strong, so this stays together in chemical reactions in general. The carbonate ion, that's another polyatomic ion. The carbon and the oxygens, this carbonate ion, three oxygens, that's tightly bound as well, and in general stays together. The whole carbonate ion has a two minus ionic charge. So you can see we need two of these positive ammonium ions to balance the carbonate ion with the two minus charge. Because we have positive ions, and then we have this negative ion here, they're gonna be attracted. That's why this ends up being an ionic bond. It's a bond between the ammonium ion, the NH4 plus, and the carbonate ion. With in each of these ions, though, we have covalent bonds. So with the nitrogen and the hydrogens, those are two nonmetals, they're bonded together with covalent bonds. Same for the carbonate. The carbonate is bonded covalently to each of these oxygens. So for the overall ammonium carbonate ion, in general, we consider it ionic because we have ions that are stuck together due to their opposite charges. But within each of the polyatomic ions, we have covalent bonds. This is Dr. B discussing whether ammonium carbonate is ionic or covalent. Thanks for watching.